from Hooktown Pickin' here. I know that I promised you guys when I reached $250 on my patron page that I would give you an exclusive behind the scenes look at my thrift store shopping. So I am at my local Savers and I'm gonna go on in and kind of show you what I look for and how I find everything. So here we go. So I'm headed into the store. Some of the things that I um, am gonna look for are, um, I usually try to look for anything that is New in package, uh, has a barcode. Those are kind of my go-tos simply because you know me, I'm kind of an Amazon flipper. So, um, but we'll look for the unique and odd and I will show you at the end of this video what all I get so that you can have the option of picking it up yourself. So. In the store we go. So I'm going to grab a cart here and I like to skirt the very outside of the store. I'm not um, into getting clothing, but if we hit the outside of the store, that's where I'm I find my best stuff. I'm a fan of clothing shopping, so I usually try to hit these shelves first. So some of the things that I look for, anything that's in a box, so this is a tabletop fountain, um, we'll kind of look at it see if it's been open. I will come back around, scan everything, but I'm going to kind of give you a store tour right from the get-go. These would be all no-goes. Why? They break. So that's the biggie. Um, let me see. So this whole section, I'd say, eh, hot veggie tails. I love veggie tails. Um, so I'm not seeing a lot that I would choose from this section here. So I'm going to kind of bypass all that. So if you see all this glassware inside of a thrift store, you're going to probably say, nope, not going to do that. So, um, let's see. These right here are awesome. So you can usually find really cool electronics, um, things in boxes, things that are brand new with barcodes. So, lots of just various different things. Oh my, just found this giant thing of office clips. Use this all the time in the office. So, anyway, corks, freezer bags, rulers, the grocery bag carrying range. So, um, Whenever I come to a savers, that definitely the bag section is where I want to be. Um, here's some more just fun trinkety kind of things that I like to look for. Um, some of you who are crafters or uh, flea market sellers might be interested in these types of things. Um, you know, if you want to do that kind of thing. Uh, but. I don't usually go for any of this kind of stuff. It's not good reselling, but it's definitely crafty and cute. So that's the hardest thing. Oh, look at that. This would be probably a good eBay one. I'm going to put that in my cart. Let's see how much of that does it say. So I'll have to find out. There's no, there's no thing on it, but it does have a name on it. See? All in Michigan right near Grand Rapids where I grew up. Awesome. So I'm definitely going to pick that up. That's cool. Um, everything on here will be for sale. Cafe Domino, Coffee Cups, New York. New York, Paris, and London. Those are cool. There's four, a couple of plates and a couple of cups. I'm going to pick those up too. I know I said I don't get broken things, but or breakable things, but those are kind of unique, so I'm going to just check those out. Sorry about the swinging camera here. Okay, I got it in my cart now. Sorry, I'll stop swinging the camera around. All right, so lots of really cute stuff. Oh, I'm definitely going to show you at the end of this what I actually pick up. Canning rings. 
silverware, flatware. Sometimes you can find some, like this one is a monogram. H. H for me. Hooked on chicken. All right. Here's another barcode. So I'm going to come back through here. Here's my scanner. Um, coffee cups galore. So you can sometimes find some really unique coffee cups. Plastic ware. Uh, lots of canning jars. I actually can my own salsa from time to time. And jelly and tomatoes. Tomatoes. Um, that's all kind of housewares. So, let's see, electronics, some electronics, quesadilla maker, Emerson knife, but that has a barcode on it. Sometimes some of these older electronics will sell well. So I wouldn't buy any of this unless it was actually still in the box. Like I'll probably look at that George Foreman when I come back around. This looks cool. That's a router. Is that actually in there? It's sealed. That's brand new. Ooh, I'm totally getting this. Old phones sell really well too. With the, especially with the screens and the big numbers. I'm going to pick that up too. This is the talk radio. Cassette players. Or VHS paper winders. You guys remember these? First thing I'm going to show you is just look at the tops. This one's clearly been opened. If you look at the top of the row, you can tell all of these been opened. That one kind of tricked me a little bit. But then you can see, are there any new ones? Oh, here's a new one right here. See it? Totally sealed. So I will scan that one and see if it's worth it. So that's kind of the quick way to kind of go through DVDs. Is this one split? Yeah, that one's been split open. Oh, here's another new one. These, you wouldn't think so, but they're probably more worth it than anything else. So let's see if there's anything else in here. Nope, I don't see anything. Same thing with CDs. I do the exact same thing. I don't see anything new there. But that's kind of my trick to look real fast. Uh, more books, which I'm going to avoid, although Scholastic books sell really well, specific Scholastic ones. Um, records, I don't generally go after records and tapes, simply because there's just not a lot of market in it. Um, magazines, VHS tapes, some VHS tapes will sell, but I only buy them if they're brand new. So, there's some kids movies, those generally don't sell. VHS tapes. This is my section here. So, cookbooks occasionally sell. Um, and then here's kind of all the encyclopedias um, and kind of a lot of how to books, you know, illustrated gardening. So, some of those you can get out and scan. Um, the biggest thing here is they usually cost a little more, so it's going to be hard to find uh, value in some of it. Um, you're not going to get it cheap enough, basically. Uh, best place for books, Goodwill Outlet, because you buy them per binding. All right, so these are all tablecloths. Don't need those. 
So after I get past all the tablecloths, I'm kind of coming up on a section I really, really like. It's kind of a random section, but they have adult diapers there that I've done really well on flipping online. They've got, you know, like this air freshener that I looked into, but I couldn't find on the Amazon website. So I threw that in my cart to see, can I find it anywhere else? Um, this medical wrist thing doesn't usually sell well because I'm usually restricted in kind of medical sales like that. Um, just kind of looked through the whole pile. Um, these arrow finials I absolutely loved and thought they were great and they're in brand new and packaged. Checked out some of these cords and other things hanging from the wall. I love the bags of stuff always hanging from the wall. So I didn't really see anything else that would be interesting on this shelf. Um, there's the adult diapers that I actually scanned, um, and I've had better luck with other brands, um, but that one didn't work very well. This was a charger for a battery, and I thought that it was a good find, so I threw that in my cart as well. We're going to keep going and just move on down the line. Here's a bunch of bags, backpacks kind of things. Um, so I loaded up on the adult diapers. I've always had good luck with those. Hopefully they'll be the brand that I like. So far this is kind of where I'm at and what I've got in my cart. So I really think I'm going to make good money on that. And that router was a good find too. Oh, we're just going to keep skirting the wall here. A little luggage here. I usually stay away from that. Here we got really cute lamps, and I just absolutely love those. Thought that soccer ball one and Winnie the Pooh, those are really, really cute. So I like to stay to the outside edge of the store simply because that's usually where the new in box kind of things are and the unique things are. Um, clothing, yeah, I can look and I bought some things. I love this glove. I think it's going to sell really, really well. Um, let's see what else they got in here. Boxing gloves, those look good used. Some other gloves, but not as cute. Looking down there, a bunch of bats and balls and sporting equipment. So Savers is a great place to come if you need some sporting equipment. Uh, fan belt. It's new and packaged. We'll see if it's sellable. We'll scan that barcode. Some tools. Ooh, some filters. Check those out. Another one. Box of tiles. Way too heavy to ship. No way. Well, I think I pretty much have exhausted this little area. Uh, oh, there's another filter. I love my filters. Check this out. I found these awesome spike shoes. Keyboards. I've been selling a lot of keyboards that I got from my uh, wholesaler down in um, near me that buys from the base. But uh, I look for unique features on the keyboards, such as like key card readers or unique brands. Here's a looks like a router of some sort and a lot of electronics, joysticks, games. Oh, this is new in package. I'll have to grab that. It's got a barcode and everything. another thing new in package a little fan to cool your laptop another router not sure if it works or not so I'm gonna pass a bunch of monitors I'm sure they work fine so if you're a technology person this would be a great place for you to printers, speakers. 
Hey, I'm sorry about the crackling of my microphone. I must have been hitting against a lot of things and I didn't realize I was doing that. But here's the back room. You can kind of see all the stuff that they're about ready to put out. Here's another bag, set of bags for on the walls. This is a lot of like cords, electronics. Um, oh, look at this thing. It's a, like a mini digital camera keychain. Definitely gonna throw that in the cart. Uh, what else we got here? Um, it looks like a punch for like crafters. Uh, oval punch. Got some more bags of things. That's a phone with some bases. Those sell decent. I don't know if it's all there, so I'm not going to get that one. Ooh, this is new in package. It's like rubber grippies for the bottom of your shoes. Barcode on it. Throw it in the cart. Some electronic things. Calculator. Mm, not nothing too interesting in that bag, so we'll stick that back. Ooh, that's kind of neat. What art? What is that brass silver looking thing? I have to move some stuff out of the way. See if I can find it. No, oh, it says it's a door viewer. Oh, kind of like a peephole for your door. To throw that in the cart. Uh, clock radio and other. Oh, there's a crafter's snap tool, it looks like. Barcode on it. Still brand new in package. Loving it. And light bulbs. Kind of stay away from those. Or light bulbs. Um, phones, timers, just you name it, it's here. Oh, these are like, that's brand new in package. Gonna have to grab that. Let's move this stuff out of the way. A wire, but it looks like it's been used, so I think I'm gonna pass on that. Oh, now we have reached the toys section. Let's see what we can find here. Sometimes you can find brand new toys in package. Um, I usually try to stray away from stuffed animals and stuff just because I don't know if it's a pet home or if they were smokers or anything like that. And people want really nice condition stuffed animals. So let's see. Ooh, look at this game. It's in the wrong spot. You might be a redneck if. Good old Jeff Foxworthy. Totally sealed. No openings or anything. That's definitely going in the cart. Hmm, what else is here? Cool helmet. Oh, it's plastic. Bummer. Oh, that's brand new in package. Some sort of a costume accessory. It's like a dog guitar. It's got a barcode going in the cart. Just a reminder, I'm going to show you everything that I, here's a better look at it, uh, that I'm going to uh, uh, show you everything at the end. This is like a, a cardboard speaker. I'll have to check that out and look it up and see if I can even sell those. Set of puzzles, brand new in pack. Another glove. Oh, name on it. Not going to buy that one. More stuffed animals. Stuffed animals galore. There's all the clothing that I generally don't look through. Sometimes I'll go to the specialty sections and look through like sports jerseys and stuff like that. But 
Here is the game area, and I love checking out games and puzzles. Of course, nothing that's already been opened I generally don't do, but a lot of people who sell on eBay can find game pieces. Like, they'll buy the game real cheap here and then just sell the the pieces. I've sold Monopoly money and things like that, but I didn't really see any games here. Um, I found a, this chess, chess set. That's kind of cool, but it was really heavy, and I don't think it's going to be worth it, so... I'll just keep on moving. More bags of stuff. Lots of toys. Score pad. Just kind of looking for the unique. I like to look for electronic games in this section. They usually have some like handheld electronic games. We'll see what we can come up with. Ooh, there's one. Wheel of Fortune. I have sold a ton of these before for a good profit. There's another one. Not sure what kind of game that is. And regular books. Oh, there's another one. In the cart. And another one. Man, I scored good on that. More toys. Sometimes you can find, you know, because it's bagged with multiple other things, you can find some really good deals. More electronic games. Just toys and toys and toys galore. Face paint. Another electronic something. Barbie's galore. I'm going to check out some of the ties. Those are kind of dated. I don't know a good tie name brand, so I usually just kind of look for specific themes. So let's see what we can find. Oh, Mickey with a football. Awesome. Oh, stain. I guess I could have tried to clean that. Ooh, a Tabasco's tie. See, kind of, if you get themes, I think those sell better than just the generic ties. Let's see what else we got here. Golfing tie. Super cheap. Nice. And a fishing tie. I think I scored good on those. Some fun hats. Unless hats are in phenomenal condition, I usually kind of stray away from those. Let's see. Georgia Tech hat. Shoes. I could take some time to look through shoes, but I'm not going to today. Some unicorn slippers. More shoes. Shoes, shoes, and shoes galore. Let's go on down this aisle. Check these out. Oh my goodness, look at these shoes. Those are amazing. They are bonkers. Look at those things. What do you even wear those with? I would break my neck trying to walk in those. What do you think? Should I walk in those? I'm going to go ahead and get them. I shall be breaking my neck soon. Head on back over to where, like, scarves and belts and stuff are. Let's check out some of the purses. Uh, 
Ooh, new with tags. We'll make sure that's totally clean. Look at that. Gorgeous. Check this one out. See if we can find anything else. More shoes over here. Some sunglasses and eyeglasses and we need some reading glasses. Those are cute ones. It's kind of looking for a measurement on them, but there wasn't one, so I just guess I'll just put them back. Bags and bags and bags of costume jewelry. Those I bet would be fun treasure hunts. Uh, I used to do the costume jewelry thing, but not so much anymore. Ooh, look at this awesome Air Force bag. We're definitely going to get that. Not too bad of a price either. I think I'm buying the whole store. Let's see. Justin Bieber bag. I think I'm going to pass. Let's see. Ooh, I see a tag. Looks like it's in great condition. Nothing, nothing wrong with it. No stains, no nothing. Inside looks great. In the cart it goes. I think I'm getting a good haul this time. Well, we're going to say goodbye to Savers. Say bye, Savers. All those clothes that I didn't buy. Hey everybody, so I finally got done with my savers haul and I, like I said, I was going to show you everything that's going to be available for you to purchase direct from me. And so all you got to do is contact me at hookedonpicking.com, send me a message of what you want, the offer of what you want to uh, spend on it, but I, you'll see the savers prices, but I'm the one that gets to handle the items, so I definitely still want to make some money. And so I'm going to show you what I found on my thrifting. Um, you saw a lot of how I got um, all of the things and found them but I want to give you each and every item individually and then if you want it you just send me a message okay so um, I have my trusty phone here and we're gonna scan some things as we go along so let's just come in close we're gonna start here in the corner these are always go-to's for me I always like to find the Radica handheld old school electronic games. So this Wheel of Fortune game I got for $3. Also, one thing you need to be aware of is that you can get a discount if you donate to Savers. Um, you can get a like punch card and then get 30% off. And so I ended up getting 30% off of all of these prices. Then I've got um, a Radica Tetris game right here. Um, and then I have, uh, I don't know how to sp say that, Kakuro game I'm not sure a trivia pursuit game and then I have a joker deuces draw poker radica game it's got a flip up top so those are my kind of electronic games so if you're interested in any of those let me know this is a uh, brand new in package I bought it because it has a barcode so this is a uh, home casuals basically the ends for um, curtain rods and then the tie backs and then we've got a ice and snow shoe so you basically put these on the bottom of your tennis shoes so that you won't fall on your behind in the ice and snow so it gives you traction great, so great for today <clears throat> yeah great for today it's sleeting outside but these are great for like even strapping on the bottom of dress shoes because dress shoes generally don't have a lot of grip and they're slick so next thing we got is it's kind of old school. Look, you get one gigabyte high speed memory upgrades for desktops and PCs. So it's basically a computer piece that you can get. So, um, and then these are my funnest find. I think these are awesome. So, um, you know how people use the little hole puncher to aerate your grass so that it grows better? These are shoes you can put on your feet. On, strap onto your shoes and walk around your yard and aerate your yard. So this is one that I'm actually going to scan and kind of show you um, what all <clears throat> is going to be the price that I can get for it. So I spent, 
as you can see, oh, I spent $3 on it. It didn't have a price tag and they, they said $3. Um, and so I've got these aerating shoes. They pull up when I scan them. So uh, I'm gonna click this button. Okay, I wanna show you something real quick. So when I first look at it, it looks like $6.99 is kinda, um, but with shipping, you know, and so it says $9.99 and all that. But once I click it, it actually is going for $13.46. And then if I click here, I can see what my Amazon fees are. Um, and so I will make a total of $3.90. So, um, I mean, <clears throat> I spent three for it, but um, I felt like I could move it for even more. So even though I'm only gonna make $3.90, um, you guys could get it for much cheaper than the $13 that you would pay online. And so um, just let me know, contact me about that. Um, here's another one. I always look for any kind of like exercise, dance videos, because shockingly, these sell really well. So I'm actually gonna scan these it's like a beginner breakdown on how to do the Bollywood dance. So this one, I wanted to show you this specifically because once I scan it, it shows right here, 1073 um, is what it's saying. But once you click it and look at the sales rank, that's really good for video. Um, but once we click through it, it's actually going for higher, 2693. And so I spent two bucks on it. I'm gonna make 1868. So as you can see, thrifting is gonna be a good deal. Um, <clears throat> this is my best buy. So this is actually a router. It's brand new, sealed and packaged, never been used. And I paid five bucks for it. It's going online for 50. So that's my best one. So if you're interested in these things, let me know. I always look for um, like baseball gloves and stuff, kids ones, because people like to buy it. It's five bucks. The biggest thing you want to look for when um, looking for gloves is make sure that there's no kid's name written on the inside. There were two or three gloves there, but this is the only one I bought simply because... Um, it didn't have a name written in it. And then uh, if you can ever find a left-handed glove, that's good. This one is for a righty. Um, but if you can ever find a left-handed glove, which means they wear it on the right hand, um, that would be really good because it's really hard to find those and they sell really well. All right, now I've got some really fun ties down here on the end. I love their theme ties and I got these all at a really good discounted price. And so I've got a golf one here and then I've got a Tabasco tie and then kind of an angler fisherman tie so if you're interested in any of those shoot me a price if not i'm gonna throw them on my poshmark store because i'm a reseller i'm still gonna make some money all right then i found a really neat uh filter the reason i picked this up is because it's brand new and packaged has a barcode on it then i've also got a mini uh three-in-one digital camera it's a keychain camera a mini digital camera still brand new and packaged never been opened vivitar even comes with the battery and then I've got this chill mat. This one was a really cool find as well. Ha <laughs> ha, pun, cool find, because it's a chill mat. It goes underneath your uh, uh, laptop. This one I'm going to scan as well and just show you kind of where the profit margin is. So this one I spent $3 on, but remember everything that I paid for, I got at a 30% discount. So I actually only spent about $100 on this trip. Um, this one I wanted to show you specifically because when I scanned it, look at that sales rank, 437. As soon as it hits the warehouse, it's going to blow out immediately. And so I spent, like I said, three bucks on it with a 30% discount after that. I'm going to make, if I send it into Amazon, $13.19. So I'll make my three bucks back, make an additional 10 bucks. So, and it's gonna sell immediately. It'll go right away. So, and then these things I picked up simply because they were new in package. So I bought both of these items for $2.99. So we're gonna go ahead and just break them open. You get to see right away what exactly is in here. Um, this one I got because crafters use this a lot. It's an oval Fisker, cut, Fisker cutter. Um, and so I got this because it's brand new in package. And then this is um, this is a buttoneer. Basically, it's an old school as seen on TV. This looks really dated, but um, I bet it still sells for really good money. So this one's new in box, never been opened. So those that's the main reason I bought that one. Um, then I've, of course, got some filters. Eureka F9 filter. You can always find filters. I got another one right here, too. So we've got two of those. And then these I just thought were really, really cool. This is um, finial uh, ends for your 
curtain rod. So you can go on any curtain rod because it's got the narrow end. You just pop it on the ends and that kind of dresses up maybe a man cave or something that you have a themed room. I have an aunt who likes a lot of Native American stuff. So that would be fun to put on there. All right. And then this is a Justice League, um, basically Batman um, child's belt. It's the rubber belt. You can kind of see it better from the side, but it's a rubber belt for a costume. And then um, these sell really well. I've done really well. Um, I specifically picked this one because it had the screen. Um, it's got a bunch of different programmable ones. If you can find any of the ones that do two or three lines, like office ones, they sell really well. But this one I picked specifically because it had the large numbers on it. And yes, I know everybody has a cell phone, but there's still quite a few that do landlines. And believe it or not, old school landline phones are selling really well. This was also a great find for me. It's totally sealed in package. And remember when I showed you on the video, when you go through the DVD section, the, the, um, the quickest way to find a good unopened one is just to scan the top of it. And you can see that it's still sealed on the top. So this will be a really good resell for me. I know that I can make money. Um, this was one of my most unique finds. You saw it right at the top end of me walking in the store. This, um, it says live, love, laugh on it. This is actually from Holland, Michigan, which is, I grew up about 45 minutes away from there and it's stamped right here and it says Holland, Michigan on it. So this is really, really just a very unique piece. It'd be perfect for displaying in a house. You can stand it up like this or it sits like this. So those are really fun. This was a huge find. This was in the toy section, totally brand new, still working. Um, and it's got a barcode on it somewhere right here got the barcode on it but this was actually worth quite a bit of money it's like a little wolf uh, dog guitar so if you're interested in that let me know I've got some more stuff back here um, these I'm going uh, I thought were amazing oh my goodness you could break your ankle I'm gonna try those on and see if I can actually walk in them without killing myself so stay tuned it'll be entertaining um, I, I got this purse specifically because it still had the tags on it now even though it still has the tags on it I definitely in the store went through it I opened it up make sure it wasn't all gross inside but and it's all brand new and so this will be for sure a posh mark sale unless you want to buy it from me so um, this was a really good find this was actually not in the game section if you guys remember I showed you the game section this one was not actually sitting in the game section it was in the middle of all the children's toys so I found that I was really excited about it it's still completely sealed there's no rips or tears in it and I spent uh, four dollars on it and I believe I'm gonna sell it for about 30 bucks so that's gonna be a good find here's another purse it comes with a mirror and uh, it has new with tags and of course I looked in at these crossbody bag purses are really really popular because ladies like to carry them like that and they're good travel ones so that purse is in really good shape. Um, this right here has a plastic covering on it too. So now I know there's no dings and stuff on the metal. Also, we have an Air Force base near us. So I found this really awesome Air Force tote bag. So this will be really a fun gift for somebody. It looks brand new, like it's never even been used. And so I just thought this will be a perfect thing to sell to you guys and offer to you guys as a uh, fun gift. Um, this I picked up because it has three brand new puzzles in it and it's kind of old school uh, looking with the art, but it's got three of them in there. Barcode, I scanned it, I'm gonna make a profit. Um, this movie, believe it or not, <laughs> is actually worth it to buy. I spent about two bucks on it. I think I can make a profit on it and it's still completely sealed in the package. Um, and then this I found very interesting. Okay, so I bought this mainly for these front things and let me show you exactly what they are. So they are, remember like in the hotel rooms and stuff, it's basically one of the peepholes that you put in your door to see who's coming. So I've got two different styles of a, a peephole that you would put in your door to see who's at the door. And then it also comes with, everybody needs some, some toilet paper roll holders. <laughs> so it's basically the thing to put your toilet paper roll holder on. So um, also, you know, some of these smaller end items, if you wanna bundle it with something larger, I'm totally willing to do that for shipping purposes. But um, I just found them very interesting. And then last but not least, here is the uh, no sew eyelet and 
snap pliers tool. So it's basically like a seamstress tool to um, attach a snap onto a garment. And so you might, um, these are pretty expensive in the craft stores. And so you might be, wanna just purchase it from me at a discount. So here we go, we're gonna see uh, if you if you would like any of these items, remember you're going to contact me at hookedonpicking.com. Just message me. You guys get exclusive rights to see it. Um, this is because my patrons hit 250. If you're watching this not on the Patreon page but on the YouTube page, you are seeing it later than them. They got exclusive behind the scenes footage of that um, before you did. So if you're interested in becoming one of my patrons, go ahead and check out the. Uh, site. I'm going to try these on and see if I don't kill myself. But yeah, so go ahead and check out any of these things. Just tell me what it is that you want. And I'm going to come around front and see if I can actually, they actually are my size, like my stripey socks. Oh my word. I'm going to, I'm going to die. Okay. Ready? Oh my word. <laughs> these are size eights. Oh my word. I think I'm as tall as my husband now. Those are crazy and weird and I'm not going to try to walk because I will probably fall and break an ankle. That's okay. Go so ahead and go ahead and try to walk. All right, let me try to walk. Ooh, I actually can do pretty good. I don't know how tall these are, like six or seven inch heels. Those are crazy. Anyway, if you want to buy these shoes, you can actually walk in them. I'm not totally coordinated when it comes to heels, but these are not too bad. I think they got a little bit of a wider base. But if you want to buy any of those things, um, that would be amazing. And just contact me at hookedonpicking.com and shoot me an offer for anything that you see that you would love to have. And remember, in the end, Jesus wins. Just remember, you can purchase all of these things by sending me a message at hookedonpicking.com and then clicking the contact me. Just list exactly what you would like to purchase, leave your address so I can calculate shipping, and make sure that you shoot me an offer. Thanks! If you love the content that I give, you can support me on Patreon. Just follow the link in the description below and I will offer you lots of exclusive things. You can be in the Hooked on Pickin' Coffee Club, have your name in lights, be in the Hooked on Pickin' Reseller Club, or the Reseller Pro Club. You get different perks for each club. So if you'd like to support me in my channel, please head on over to my Patreon account and start supporting. Thanks! This is Heather from HookedOnPickin.com. If you'd like to purchase my reseller guide, which is fully laminated three cards with checklists for Goodwill, eBay, and Amazon, please click the link below and you can purchase it now. The Goodwill card has over 80 different tips to show you how to walk through the store and what things I look for when walking through a thrift store to buy and resell items on Amazon, eBay, and other platforms. The Amazon reseller checklist has over six major steps and a lot of sub steps to look at in order to find out, is my item going to be perfect for selling and reselling on Amazon? The eBay card also has six major steps to walk through to make sure you're choosing the right item that will be perfect for reselling and making money on eBay. Each card is fully laminated so that it cannot be destroyed easily, and it's perfect for taking with you while you're going on your picking and finding treasure hunting for reselling. I hope this is helpful, and I hope these cards help you to focus your energy to pick the right items to resell online to grow your reseller business. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.